Welcome my lovely friends. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna paint this beautiful watercolor picture of the lily pond. Here is my reference photo. I'm gonna paint this in more impressionistic style. I'm gonna make few changes while I paint this. Minimize the amount of the water lilies that you can see and the water I will change it to more bluish color and I'm gonna extend the tree shadows that are reflecting on the water surface a little bit more down so it's more asymmetrical. So if you would like to see how I do this impressionistic painting in watercolor, keep watching and let's get started. Here you can see the panorama picture I took of the lily pond. This is my setup. I am using these watercolors and I'm going to be painting on Arches 140 pounds cold press watercolor paper and the size of the painting will be 8 by 10 inches. I'm mixing ultramarine blue and burnt sienna for the uh, water, the clouds reflecting in the water and the sky. Uh, I want it to be a little bit darker and deeper blue. Now I will be using my rinser and Wilton pure squirrel brush and mixing sap green with bird sienna with little touch of ultramarine blue to darken it. With this mixture I will be painting the trees and the grass that are reflecting on the water surface in the pond. Here I am extending the tree shadows a little bit down. I want it to be more asymmetrical. I am adding more water to it so it can blend together. This surface is not wet enough for my liking. So I'm going to use a spray bottle and wet it a little bit more so it can blend nicely as you can see. Uh, this is the effect I was looking for. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit more of the dark green, which you can see I mixed more of the blue with the sad green and burnt sienna, adding the darker shades of the trees. As you can see, I changed my water, so now it's clean. And I will be adding a little bit of the azo yellow the reflection of the grass, make it a little lighter with the sap green. Here and there, little touches. Now mixing blue with the sap green and burnt sienna mixture for a darker reflection of the clouds in the water. Making quick marks here and there. I'm not being exactly precise. I want this to be more flowy and I have this impressionistic style. Now I will be focusing on the water reliefs using my already pre made green mixtures. I will be simplifying how many water lily leaves are there and how they look. As you can see at this reference photo, how much I am uh, omitting and simplifying. I'm only adding a few water lilies in the background. I am mixing ultramarine blue with burnt sienna and sap green to get a darker uh, blue color for the reflections in the water. I am making horizontal lines on the surface of the water suggesting connections between water lilies, making it more three-dimensional and creating depth in the painting. I'm adding more color to the trees and reflections for more contrast. With the clean brush, I am lifting the dark color off of the surface and creating this flower. And also in a distance, suggesting rows of water lilies. Now I'm gonna paint the foreground water lilies, and the leaves are rounded, notched, flexi coated that float on the water surface, 
and the leaves are attached to long stalks with many air spaces in them and they grow from thick fleshy underwater stems which are buried in the mud and water lilies also provide food and cover for fish and wildlife. I am lifting off some of the watercolor with wet paper towel to have softer impressionistic style. Not too much details in the foreground. I am suggesting few leaves here and there. I have read that some water lilies leaves can range from small one inch diameter size to the largest found in Amazon that are six and a half feet in diameter and their flowers are 15 inches across. However, in this pond, we have flowers that are about five inches or less. And here is the finished impressionistic watercolor painting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button so you can see me next time. And for more ideas of dollar painting videos, you can see it here. And my playlist, you can see down here. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Have a lovely day.